Is the club clean enough for you? Yeah, it's perfect. It's good. I didn't do that. Our intrepid presenter, Iona Stephen, undertakes her duties with a positive attitude, even when asked to carry the bag for her fellow professionals. Here are some highlights of Iona's caddy for a hole. Matt, before you hit this ball, talk me through. We've had a bit of a chat. I've got a course planner that Billy's kindly given me. Are you happy like with that line that we discussed, sort of starting it over that overhanging tree baby fade? Yeah, just whatever Billy tells me to. Yeah. I just try so and do, do what it. you're told. And then and if I don't do it, I get told off. Carried some bags already and they've been pretty heavy, so I don't know what you've got in there today, but I hope it's not so much. <laughs> I'm just gonna fill it up with a lot of water now. I've suddenly <laughs> become really thirsty. Let's dive into what really happens out here. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'm noticing you've got a course planner as well, yep. which you don't always see players have that. Mm -hmm. I use my course planner mainly for greens. I have my notes in and around the greens, but uh, when it comes to the Tina Green stuff, I mean, obviously, Kenny's probably has more of the information than I have. 486 yard par four. It's quite straight, but I've had a little chat with Bo. We've agreed, slash, he's told me that you should go over the left edge with the driver of that bunker there. Left edge of the bunker? Yeah. <laughs> See, there's the first thing you're getting wrong. You're listening to Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what's your approach? It's a par five. Um, probably if you hit a good drive, you can reach in two. So, um, it looks like we need to keep it inside the bunkers on the right. Anything inside those bunkers will be perfect. Yeah. So that's the plan. Whew. Okay, let's get this on. Are you sure? Yeah, I tell you, it's, it's lighter than some bags. That is frozen rope. That's kind of where I was looking as well there. It's a gorgeous shot. Saying all the right things to me here. <laughs> Talking me up, perfect. I'm here to build the confidence. <laughs> That's an absolutely stunning golf shot. That's good. Wow. Happy with that one? Very happy, yeah. yeah. Exactly down the line, middle of the fairway, so. What a noise it makes coming off your club. <laughs> wow. It's a little necky, but she'll do. What a sound that makes. It's an absolute stripe, and it's straight on the crane, so I think that's a very good start. Yeah. Glenn, you're in trouble here, mate. <laughs> She's giving me better information than you've ever done. Oh, Boom. smoked it. <laughs> that is a textbook high draw. Oof. Money. Right, we're good. <laughs> that looks so good. Something like that. Great strike. Just what I said. So Shane, this is definitely the most nervous I've been for a caddy a hole. The Open champion letting me carry a bag it's a real privilege to be oh. doing this, so thank you. You and Bo, special relationship, loads of chat around it after you had that week um, at the Open. How special is that relationship between you and the caddy? Don't want to say much because I give him a big head. He's already got a big <laughs> head, but like, I'll give him a bigger one, but I... Uh... <laughs> yeah, um, so you and Glenn, you. since March, you've been working together. Yeah. What is it you're looking for in a caddy? What do you think throughout your career you thought, these are the things I like and these are the things I do not want? Show up, keep up, shut up. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> you and your caddy, because it's mm. such an important relationship as a professional golfer. Tell me what you look for in a good caddy. Well, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, I, I need to be able to trust him, knowing that he's responsible and, and professional. You know, I. I put a lot of work uh, into golf and I really want to do good, so I, yeah. I, I want to have someone that I can trust that I'm, I'm not going to worry if he's going to be on the first tee and that uh, he's going to show up and that kind of stuff. Tell me a little bit about working with Billy. How long have you guys been a pair now? Uh, this is almost a year. Right, and has it been going well so far? How's that relationship flourishing? Uh, it's good, yeah, it's good, you know, to have, to have his experience on the bag, bag is is second to none, really. Yeah. Um, I just think not only his experience, but just the way he sort of he helps me manage my game around the golf course. So let's talk about you and Kenny then. You guys have been together for such a long time. Mm -hmm. You must feel like you're almost, well, you are in a relationship of some variety. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I spend more time with Kenny than I do with my wife, which is <laughs> awfully scary because, you know, uh, I've been married for six years and I've been with Kenny for 13 years. So, right. um, <laughs> that's, you know, it's a really important relationship. 
I think I need to double strap this. Is there a double yeah. strap? So how do you like to work with your caddy? Have you always worked with one caddy? Yes. So I picked him after the Q school last year uh -huh. and we started working together at the beginning of the year in Mauritius. That was the, the first tournament on European tour I played. Yes. And uh, after that tournament, the, the, our friendship, our yeah, relation was very good. Talk to me about the sort of caddy player relationship because golf's very unique in that sense that you go through it all with one other person. Yeah, definitely. I like to have someone I can chat to on the bag, you yep. know, have a bit of fun, keep it fairly light-hearted, you know. Yep. And I've only been working with Pete since uh, Germany. Okay. So sort of middle of the season. Yeah. It's been really good, you know. Yeah. We've just got on well. Yoast, there's a fairly um, a large amount of weight in this bag. What have you got in here? <laughs> there's a couple more clubs in there than than I'm allowed to in the tournament. But you know, it's practice day, so we want to practice. We want to use the practice day to try out some new things. Golfers they like to change things quite a lot. For if sure. If you're not quite getting the performance, you're like, right, what can I change? Yeah, you know, the caddy's always the first guy to go. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, you know, but. Uh, I mean, typically, you know, I take a step back, look at the bigger picture and realize that he's, uh, he wants the best for me. Yeah. Um, but then on the good side of things, for example, 2010 Ryder Cup in the last match, playing Hunter Mahan, uh, very nervous after about 14 holes and I'm walking to the 15th tee. And I said to Kenny, I'm like, Phew. I'm not sure I can do this, mate. I'm really, really nervous. Wow. I, you know, I'm not sure I can, can keep this going. And he said something to me like, you know, you got this, calm down, you know, just focus and keep your rhythm. And I'm like, I, I'll tell you what, if you're feeling as relaxed as you sound, why don't you hit the shots going and I'll carry the bag, you know? So talk to me about the shot. This is... I'll hold on to them. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> is the club clean enough for you? Yeah, it's perfect. It's good. I didn't do that. Oh, it's a lovely strike. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's another beautiful shot. Oh, if it's short or long, it's on you. Oh, oh. right up to it. That is all over oh. it. Let's talk to you. Thank you. I'm taking all the credit for that. How's that? Good work. Yeah, good. Lovely shot. Sit. Ah, uh, it came out a bit. Hot off that line, of course. Off that downhill and now I've got to do my rating. I should have had your putter ready. That's me fired. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I'll get my putter. You do the raking. But when you, when you rake it, you need to get lower. Oh right. Is That's that... it. Okay. So now you rake it and you you press the sand forward. Away. There you go. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I'm not sure if you're being serious, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's pretty good, there. Someone wants to All right, this me. is not good there. Okay. These little mounts, you can't have those. Okay, I'll be here for the next two hours. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, carry you get on. There. You get there. How's the putting? The putting's actually been okay of yeah. late. Yeah, it's been okay. So We've got one for Eagle got coming one for up Eagle here. There, Let's yeah. see if we can roll it in. I hope we? that's mine anyway. <laughs> I think it is. This is it then. No pressure at all. <laughs> It's a gorgeous stroke. Oh. Tell you what. Oh, oh no. Just crept oh. past. Looks lovely. Oh, very close indeed. Easy as that. Easy. There we go. Well, I'm going to take the credit Great for that you one. Gave me there. <laughs> I read most of my putts myself. He gets the great, uh, the great joy of being called in when I can't really make up my mind. and. It's just important for me to, to, to have uh, uh, him say his honest opinion, because sure. otherwise it's, it's no, otherwise it's no point, yeah. It's and like I don't... dead straight, middle of the cup. Yeah, yep. middle of the cup. i say that's the hardest. Easy peasy. I missed her. Oh, ah, you got it. Yes, <laughs> just got it, the easy part. <laughs> Very good. I think Kenny's job is very safe, so I'll leave you back <laughs> with him for now. So I would say straight in the middle. Yes. One hole. Well done. One birdie. <laughs> I like that.
that a lot. Oh, a lot, that's a lot. so good for TV. Absolutely so nailed good it. good for TV. There we go. <laughs> one hole, one eagle. Great read. <laughs> Welcome to the new job. <laughs> <laughs> Easy as that. There we go. A little birdie, I have to say, <laughs> Pete's in danger. Yeah, Pete. <laughs> Listen, is. thank you so much. <laughs>